hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another episode with but beauty my name is alata if you're new and if you've been coming along thank you so much for coming thank you so much for staying i appreciate all of you guys so on today's episode i'm gonna be doing a very nice makeup i don't know what i'm gonna be doing but i'm using these two tiktok shop products the wee sheree primer and the setting spray i've used this recently on my bride and the review was so good and the reviews that i've seen on tiktok is so good as well so i'm actually just using this on myself for the first time i don't normally do that i would normally try it on myself first before using it on my clients but this time around yeah since it got delivered i've just been so busy and i'm gonna be trying it on today for you guys to see this too i think we're about 20 pound or less than 20 pound i'm gonna check the price and put it on the description in the description bar or on the screen somewhere but yeah it was it wasn't expensive anyway so I'm gonna be trying it today and the way I've seen it is for you to apply the primer and then you rub it in let it get tacky and then you start to apply your foundation so I'm applying a little bit of this Mac studio fix primer mattify primer to my under eye my t-zone well not my under eye but my t-zone area a little bit on my forehead but just because i'm going to a party and i don't know you know what is this gonna be like i don't want to regret it so yeah i'm gonna apply that and that just helps to keep my t-zone in check like not oily yeah yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation now so my eye my catch foundation is not close by i'm going to be using this sleek one The slick one is a bit lighter. I don't think I've used just the slick one on here for you guys to see. But yeah, I'm gonna be using that today. And it's just dab, 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 dab. Just keep dabbing. What do you guys think with this foundation? Like, I like the shade. It works really well. Like, it blends really well. But because my neck is a little bit, I don't wanna say my neck is darker than my face. It's not, but sometimes, you know, you do have that discoloration around your neck area. And I feel like every time I use this foundation by itself, I always feel like it's a little bit different from my neck. But looking at this, it's not. And it's summer, so my skin has not actually gone darker. My skin is still as it is. So this is looking really good. This is the Sleek In Your Tone Foundation. I got it from the Influencer program, and this shade is in shade 9N. Like every time I've done a video on hair with this foundation, I've always mixed it with the Alma Couch foundation. But this time around, I'm using it by itself. No mixing. And I love it. I love the shade. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is just that foundation by itself, like on its own. Nothing mixed with it. So yeah, let me know what you think. And then just a little bit, you know, to correct some, to do some color correcting. I'm going to apply the concealer to my under eye. This is a sleek in your tone concealer as well. And this is in shade 9N as well. So it's the same shade as the foundation. And that is going to go to my under eye. So I like to just put it here before I go in with my concealer to highlight. So I actually use this concealer every time I use the Almacad foundation. Because I feel like the eye macage sometimes is a bit, obviously is uh, on the orangey side. And this is a yellow tone, like a proper tone shade for me. So, yeah. And with the concealer, it just looks like I've got like a proper full coverage on. So, yeah. So, this is what my foundation looks like. I'm just going to apply some concealer. And this is the H and B one from TikTok. I have a lot of product from TikTok now in my kit. Like I don't know what TikTok has done to me. And I know I'm not the only one. There's a lot of people that are guilty of TikTok shop. Yeah. So I applied my under eye concealer with this brush that I got from Shane. It's actually very good. I've seen this angled brush as well. This is an angled brush, by the way, a bigger angled brush. So I've seen it on TikTok a lot as well. So I just thought, why not? Let's get it. So I got it from um, Shane, and I actually love the way it helps to blend my under eye. 
sorry about the noise it's just my fan i'm feeling really hot like it's really hot today and i'm just using my foundation brush to literally blend it well with my foundation before going in with my setting spray and i love the way that hmb concealer literally blends like it's so smooth look at that yeah and the good thing about this brush is it helps you to go really well into the creases into your under eyes so to prevent any creasing from there i actually like that it's really small it's really precise and it does the job for you i'm going to use it to apply my setting powder so you guys can see how well it goes into the under eye for my setting powder you guys already know i'm using my favorite laura messier and before i apply the setting powder i'm just going to go into the creases again you guys anytime you're blending your under eye you want to make sure you don't let any creases stay there before you put your powder because once you put the setting powder don't forget the name is to set it so it sets the creases into it as well you want to make sure you get rid of any creases and by you doing that you just need to try and look up as much as possible i know it can be difficult for a lot of people but at least that's the easiest way that you can do it so try and just look up really well i actually love that blend like can you see the way the brush can just go in and i can change the angle of the brush as well to get into that corner really well yeah love it so i'm just contouring using my fenty beauty to be honest i don't know if this is a powder or if it's a contour but i just use it as a bronzer i just use it as contour because this was the shade that i found in tk max when i bought it so i just use it to contour and i love it i actually love it i'm going to use it for my face contour as well and i'm gonna blend it out i actually like to do powder contour rather than a liquid one and then a powder one because i just feel like it's two steps why am i wasting time plus right now i'm sure you guys are gonna be wondering this girl is always rushing like yeah i am rushing right now like i actually do my makeup when i'm going out if i'm not going out it's always a struggle because there's always one thing or the other that i need to do so when i'm going out i try to make use of that opportunity so at least you guys can see that okay this is how or what i do for my party for everyday look yeah that's what i like to do when i'm going out for you guys so yeah i'm just going to blend the contour into my hairline making sure there are no like foundation lines looking different from my hairline so yeah and then when i'm ready to bath at night i can wash it off so for my overall powder i'm just applying this mac one which i'm sure you guys have seen quite a few times there's the skin finish mineralize or mineralized skin finish i never know how to say this powder name but yeah i'm using this one and it's in dark so mineralized skin finish yeah i got it so i'm just applying it everywhere basically just to set the whole face so i finished my makeup mm, i'm loving my lips and now i'm going to apply my setting spray setting mist the way sheree one from tiktok and it says to give it a good mix which is what i'm doing right now i'm loving my makeup guys okay i wanted something different although i'm wearing red and you're thinking orange hmm, where is it coming from but orange it doesn't matter i'm just doing a matte eye look so yeah uh, let's spray this on okay smells nice so I've just got my fan on to dry my face a little bit well to dry the setting mist but yeah this is my finished look guys I hope you love this makeup if you do please give it a thumbs up share with your friends give a comment down below let me know what you think about the foundation I don't know if it's looking light or if it's the light but I'm gonna be doing a proper video when I get outside in the Sun like it's really sunny today outside in Manchester so yeah I'm gonna be doing a video for you guys to see what it looks like outside in the daylight which is what I like natural light is your best light for makeup so but yeah this is what I have yeah I'm thinking of doing a bit more drama but I'm like Tedri etc 
it's a 10 year old birthday don't 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 do too much i'm gonna put my uh, my highlighter anyway I, I i almost forgot that but i'm gonna apply that but yeah guys let me know what you think about this makeup the foundation shade i know i've done the highlighting but the only thing i can say about the foundation is if i'm using this slick foundation by itself i shouldn't use that HMB concealer because the HMB concealer is a very light concealer. So I think if I use something a bit more of a natural tone, something not too far off my skin color, I think then it helps it to be the right shade. But overall, I love it. I love it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Whilst this is drying off, just for you guys to see what it looks like close to the camera. Yeah, and I love the lips. I'm gonna be doing like a, I'm gonna be posting a little like shots videos, so you guys can check it out. How I did the eyes and how I did the lips. I know it's only 15 seconds, but I'm just gonna be. I'll try and put something so you guys can see. If not, it's gonna be on my TikTok video, and my TikTok is at Boss Beauty as well, so you guys don't miss out on any fun. But yeah, let's style my hair. What? So I finished my hair and for some reason I feel like I look like I'm sweating. I don't know. But anyway, I like to apply this finishing setting powder from Mirake. It's a translucent one and I like to go in with it in my T-zone. It's just to keep everything in check, you know. I just like to be extra, you know, careful. And again, like I said, I'm going to party, so I don't have I don't have time to be touching up makeup at a party. So it's better to have everything intact. Yeah. I don't know if it was just me, but my bigger mirror wasn't looking like sweaty, but my phone for some reason is looking sweaty. So anyway, this the setting spray isn't supposed to be a mattifying setting spray. It was supposed to be a luminous finish. So, yeah, but I didn't want to start looking oily before I even leave the house. <laughs> there we go. That's better. And uh, just a bit to my neck so it doesn't look like I'm sweating. And time for my highlighter. I'm sure you guys have noticed I'm not a hundred brush type of person when I'm doing my makeup. One does a lot for me. So. I'm using this one from Fenty Beauty. This has actually been my current, well, favorite one because that's the only one I have right now in my kit. So until I get another one, I'm gonna be using this for now. And a little bit in my nose. There we go. And I think I'm all done. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a little snippet here and there. From when I'm get, when I'm outside to when I get to the party, when I'm leaving the party, so you guys can see how far or how long the setting spray and the primer looked or worked for me. So yes, I hope you guys like the look. Don't forget to share, give a thumbs up, and please stay with me for more videos. I will see you next time in my next video, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you can get my notification when new videos drop online and this is what i'm wearing i got this dress from boohoo but because it's um showing my pick line yes guys i got a new pick line you heard it so i'm gonna be wearing this kimono satin kimono that i got from boohoo as well so like a rich anti-vibe it's <laughs> a rich anti-vibe you know so yeah so this is what i have so this is how i'm gonna be going to the party all covered up yes pick line hiding but yes let me know if this dressing is nice as well if you don't like it leave in the comment section but yeah that's how i'm going see you later bye subscribe. thank you subscribe i was about to attack him but yeah see you later bye